Hi, my name is Junaid Ali. I'm co-founder of Smarts. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank Launch DFW, Michael, for this wonderful opportunity for us to connect and collaborate with our startup community. Um, well, Smarts, our mission is to empower people with timely and relevant information. And let's get into the need for this first, which is let's, uh, let's meet Sarah. She's, uh, she has multiple roles in her life. She's an entrepreneur, a healthcare entrepreneur. Uh, she's a parent, and she's also a photographer, an amateur photographer. And she uses the internet, like many of us, to find information related to those roles. For example, events. Who, who in here doesn't look for events? We all look for events. We all look for things like funds, mentors, if we're in the startup community. And we, we look for various things in our, in our role. But there's a problem, and it's growing every single day. And there's a trend towards this. It's just massive amounts of emails, apps, and feeds. To illustrate this, I'll show you. Uh, look at this picture. This is where, what we have to deal with on a regular basis. On a day-to-day -day basis, we're dealing with a mass of emails. Uh, if you want to pull out your, uh, your smartphone, take a look at your email today. Find some of the events that you, you've known about. Is it really doable? It's very difficult. Even meetups, uh, apps, uh, you got tweets all over the place. So all of this information is, is everywhere. And then you have many sites. Uh, weekly, you have 550 plus emails and thousands of posts to go to. Well, the solution would be to have a, some kind of a filter based on your profile. And that's what we do. We get you relevant information and timely information on events, everything that's relevant to you. You can probably relate to, to someone as an entrepreneur uh, or someone in as a parent, many of you. Well, that's what we do. We consolidate all of that mess that you saw in the last slide into one stream, into one message, and we make it actionable so you're using one format. And another thing we do, which is pretty awesome, we make it timely so you can choose your schedule. When do you want this? Uh, just a quick look at it. Take your events, your new technology, new funds, uh, if you want whiteboard sessions related to your profile, not just to a mass of emails or mass of sites. You can subscribe to the main sources that you want to get this from depending on who you are, what your roles are in life, not just the mass of emails coming at you or the newsletters and everything like that. And you'll get it in one stream, one format. You'll get pictures of it, podcasts, new podcasts that will come out. You might want to know about that. Um, and then you can take actions right from that single message and you can remind yourself, boomerang it back. That's a pretty cool feature. How many of us forgot about the event that we wanted to go to because we didn't have the time because the email came in just, uh, just when we didn't have the time to look at it further? That's happened to me several times. And, and so we can just boomerang it back real quickly and, and save our favorites. You simply subscribe. Uh, Sarah, she's a... Uh, healthcare entrepreneur, she selects the 20 best organizations for her. She'll select uh, new tech alerts like for whiteboard sessions, things like that, that she really wants in her various, remember it's a transient uh, uh, community as well. So as she progresses, she'll change what's relevant for her. She, she doesn't have to deal with all of these emails and, and sources of information. And then she'll get the message, one simple message, she can take action right within that message. And another very important thing, she can choose when she wants it. So 2 p.m. every Sunday, that's her downtime. She's getting ready for the next week. She'll choose it. Someone else might choose 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. That's when they like to, uh, to get started. And you can have multiple schedules as well. Uh, here's what it actually looks like in the email version where you can, uh, you'll get a list of, uh, of links. And then you can, just from that, you'll have one format to see all of these cool events. And you can just select it, Dallas New Tech, I want to go there. And you, you remind yourself. And plus, you, you might not know who's presenting. This will alert you when it's ready, when it's presenting. We all know when it is, but do we know who it is? And we really want to be there. Uh, so, so this will alert you if, if you really care about that. So you'll get it in one interface. We have hundreds of users using it, and I've talked to almost every single one of them. So we've really been trying to get to the value on that. And then we had startup, um, and we've used it for startup alerts. And, and also, we're finding, and this is a, uh, an engagement business, we're finding there's over 10, at least 10 subscriptions. And this was a couple of months ago, and I think it's even higher because we added a lot more sources. But over 10, and it's hard to unsubscribe from that. Okay, upcoming 
mobile app is coming up. And, we and have that's it. <laughs> I want to I wanna subscribe and get alerts to your hat and your beard because I adore them. Amazing beard. Okay, questions. Hi, um, you weren't able to go further into your um, upcoming goals. Can you describe it a little more, please? Yeah, uh, we are really looking toward getting um, uh, usability from our community. We really want this. We, we, we see the value proposition, this, so there's no doubt. But we, what we're really looking for is people to sign up, get some experience with these alerts, and help us prepare for the mobile app, which is just coming up where, where we want to get it done by Dallas weekend, so you can all use it there as well to get all cool kinds of alerts in addition to what you're getting. So we really want your feedback as a community to collaborate together. That's what it's about. And it's about a, a user experience. In this business, it's all about the user experience. I want to give you an example. Trello uh, is one of thousands of project management softwares that has just taken off just because of the user experience. This is what it's about in these type of applications. So just remember that. It's not about who is there, who is, you know, a crowded field. It's about giving people ex much better experiences, especially with the trends of the online uh, world with all these uh, data coming at us. Go ahead. So you're an event aggregation service, and you're starting with startups as your first like niche? Yes. So because so you already connect to like meetup. So if I were to sign up, then you would tell me every single event in the startup community in Dallas right now that works. It does work. Uh, what we what we do is based on profiles. So I have curated a basic list for everyone for the with the most popular sources. But you can get your own, and you can go to any meetup. You can add the calendar, and it'll start alerting you whenever they add events to those, to those. And it'll plug into my Google Calendar because, I mean, there is a lot of time. We're all social networkers yeah. in here, so yeah, the, the we're always looking at the different events to go to. So if you streamline that process, that's pretty cool. And that Absolutely. works right now to Absolutely. Google Calendar. Well, let me just say right now, right now we are, uh, what I'm showing you is what, it's, what it, it, it is. You can subscribe to it and you will get the events and we're going to put it into a unique, and that's what we're, we're here for, to make the experience very, very, un, very, very streamlined like that, like that. You want it in the calendar, right? And that's what we're preparing in the mobile app. <laughs> oh, I, I, I agree, I agree. That's what we're looking for. The most things that w people want to pull out, we want to give that to them. Tell us about income. We didn't hear anything about that. Income, it, it, this is an engagement business. And uh, this is a very focused market where you're, you know what's very relevant. So even with 2,000 users or, or a small community, our advertisements are going to be huge in, in this business because it's very targeted. It's not like a social media app where you're doing other things. You're there for a purpose. It's like uh, Google search, but uh, timely Google search. Um, if we if, if if we start using it right now, we can actually get it with a thousand users, two thousand users. We'd actually be gross pro profit. We'd actually make a gross profit with just two thousand users because of the value of the the very targeted alerts that people are getting. I got two questions. Uh, where's the money coming from? That's the first question. And second is. I'm all about minimizing the number of emails that I get, but are you unsubscribing me from the emails that I would have otherwise have been subscribed to, or am I going to have to do that on my own when you aggregate all the emails for me? Well, the first question was about where's the money coming from. So the money is, is coming from advertisers, uh, and so it's a very targeted um, uh, uh, advertiser play where we are saying to advertisers, look, people are in the startup community. They're, uh, like for in Sarah's example, she's looking at healthcare. So that, that's a very targeted type. Every time a message goes out, we can put uh, some advertisements in there. Now, your second question about unsubscribing automatically. We do have features where we can unsubscribe. Uh, I am cutting that out uh, until we get a lot more feedback from people. How do they really want that work? Because it takes a little bit more energy to make it completely automated. But my, our goal is really to get the value. And once you start seeing that, you can start kind of, I don't recommend to unsubscribing from everything, but just the key things. So we don't want to automate that fully either. You subscribe to this, we unsubscribe you there, and 
Um, there's some work there, though. But it will be based on your feedback. What, what do people really and want? And that's time. Thank you. Welcome. All right. We've got Scott.